But speaking of crashing, let's hit the train. Oh, <laughs> go boom. There we go. We just crashed the shark through and oh, that was nasty looking. Ah, here we are once again in Brick Rigs, and today Bob has, uh, he's totally gone to college. We're at the Moscow State University. Uh, this is an awesome new creation here by Sweet Fox, and you're probably asking yourself, well, what are we doing here today? And, uh, you know what Bob's doing? He's getting naked. No, that's actually kind of weird. So today we're actually here to test out the beta version of Brick Rigs, and I want to test out the physics. How much can the game truly handle now? So last time we did this with the beta, it was a mixed bag, but I must say, the game is running fantastic. I mean, look at how detailed this creation is and how massive it is. By the way, Sweet Fox is an awesome creator on the workshop. Uh, you should totally go check this out, but yeah. Uh, it's absolutely glorious, and I think it's going to be really cool whenever this thing uh, blows up or falls down, whatever we can do to it. I don't think some of the explosives are working, uh, like the carpet nuke, but there's other ways to destroy this building. So if you guys are excited for another episode of Brick Rigs and the new beta, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And uh, if you guys want Bob to put some clothes on, maybe hit the thumbs up button. And if you guys are fine with Bob and his... Uh, his bottoms here hit the thumbs up button all right let's go all right so we have to pull out a fan favorite here by the way we're still in the new spawning menu which this thing's amazing so this is by rocket shotgun the meteor 2.0 let's go ahead and subscribe to that uh be sure to like it and let's go ahead and spawn in a new one so i guess we could just spawn it in right above the university and see what happens here so let's go Oop. by the way fbi don't put me on a list or anything at all that looks glorious and uh-oh Oh, uh-oh. Okay, so there was an initial lag. Wait, what did we just do? Huh? Did it just bounce off it? Uh-oh. Okay, Komodo might have already broken brick rigs within a matter of seconds. Uh, this is fine. Wait, you know, there's a potential this building's just really, really strong. All right, so I'm checking out the damage. Look at that. So we got a lot of fire here and wait. Wait, the whole building's actually on fire. Whoa. This thing is burning up a lot quicker than I remember it doing in Brick Rigs. Look at that. Holy man, the whole thing's turning colors. Uh, what do we do here? Um, so there's not fire like everywhere. It's like the actual effect, but obviously the whole building and everything's being burned up really quick. Huh? Uh, I'm confused. We didn't really do much damage to it at all. Like we broke a couple pieces down here. Uh, the meteorite didn't have that big explosive effect. We might have to try this to a standard tower, but that's definitely changed. I I've never seen that before. Like, we've completely charred the creation except for this piece for some reason. Everything else is gone. Um, is it... Oh, Bob's dead. He's... Wait, what's he doing? Um, he's like really dead. <laughs> All right, Bob, we need to go back. We need to see what happened here. Oh, dear. What? Wait, are the pieces loose now? I, I don't really understand. Hold on, let me turn the HUD back on. Here, we're gonna go full HUD here and see. Can I pick up the pieces or what's going on here? What the heck? This thing is charred out. Okay, well, that was impressive. Like, I'm not sure what we did. I mean, we burned it apparently, but I've never seen something burn like that in brick rigs. I feel like we need something with more punching force, though. The meteorite's really good for falling down and kind of collapsing and setting stuff on fire, but I need something that's got maybe some sort of rocket or something in it, or a big hammer or something. Which, by the way, we are going to do some more uh, multiplayer here really soon. I'm just enjoying a lot of the new stuff here. So I typed in hammer. Uh, we got the Thor hammer. This is an MMB creation. Let's go and subscribe to that. Give that a like. Okay, so this thing is extremely heavy. I remember using this several times. And uh-oh, wait for it. Oh, there it goes, it's spring-loaded. Okay, that's perfect. What the heck? Okay, so it, I mean, obviously the game still freezes. I mean, it's just still standard brick rigs. Now, when it's uh, not like really chaotic, it seems like the game can actually handle quite a bit more as far as the uh, creations. Uh, what if we were to spawn this inside? This is a mistake. 
Okay, so it spawned in. We are paused right now. Also, Bob's still flying through the air. He's still dead. All right, here we go. Let's unpause it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. That was bad. Okay, we might have just broke it. Yep. Three hours later. Okay, I must say this is really awkward. Uh, we've blown up the game already. So, while this creation's really awesome, maybe we'll try it with the traditional XFS tower and see if we can set off Thor's hammer in it and see what happens. All right, I gotta admit, mistakes were made. Let's go ahead and pull out another tower here. So this is the uh, WL16, the XFS tower. Let's go ahead and subscribe to that one again and give it a like. There we go. And then we're gonna spawn it in. So yeah, the game runs absolutely fantastic, even with like a couple towers spawned in. So maybe Thor's hammer is good for this one? <laughs> this might also be a mistake. All right, so let's go to our subscriptions real quick, and we are ready to go once again. Okay, spawn it in. Let's spawn it up above it. So we'll just do the good old drop from up in the air, and oh no. Give it a second. All right, here it comes. Oh, okay, let's slow it down a little bit, and oh, what the heck? Okay, so it's still good old Brick Rigs. It still is going to lag a lot whenever you do stuff like this. Uh, I don't think there's any changing that. Okay, there it goes. And, oh, it released all at once. What the heck? Oh, that was beautiful. So I think I noticed this last time we did big stuff in the beta branch. So the game seems to do like a hard freeze. And then all of a sudden it goes boom and it releases. But when it releases, it tends to not freeze that much anymore. That was cool looking. Wow. I forgot how compact Thor's hammer was. Okay, so maybe we need to scale it down a little bit. Let's go ahead and try to set this hammer over here. Don't break, please. Yeah, Thor's hammer needs to be put in god mode, I think. Also, uh, Bob's flying through the uh, through the earth. It's fine. Okay, so supposedly it's in god mode. You can see uh, there's a little lock there. Oh, it's still kind of popped open. No, I think it's fine. So yeah, you can see there was a little lock on the... Oh, maybe Bob's in god mode. Uh, it's fine. We'll just set that over there and let it do its thing, which its thing's actually kind of frightening looking. I hope I don't get hit by one of these big things flying around. Whee! There it goes. <laughs> that is awesome looking. All right, so let's go ahead and grab the tower and remove it real quick. Uh, Thor's hammer is, I think, the one that's flying over here. I love this new map. Wait, where's the other vehicle at? There's a tower here. That's Komodo. Okay, so I'm in god mode. Uh, I thought maybe we could put the creation in god mode. Oh. Oh. I think we've lost the tower, folks. Okay, so let's try something else. We are going to move on to several other creations. We've got another plane I want to try out. And we have a Megalodon for later in the episode, so stay tuned for that. But let's go grab a friend. And that creation is Tobias. So this is, of course, by Tom. Let's go ahead and like it and subscribe. And let's spawn in Tobias. It's been a while since we've seen him. I hope he just doesn't fall apart. I've seen some of these ragdoll creations do that. It's uh, quite frightening. So let's go ahead and stick you up here. Okay, and boom, there's Tobias. He seems to be working actually rather well. Uh, this was a laggy boy whenever it actually starts to uh, blow up. But Tobias is looking good. He's looking sharp here in the update. I like this. All right, let's just grab something basic. Let's go with the missile. I mean, I see the missile Gatlin that we used a long time ago, but yeah, maybe we won't do that. Maybe we'll do something a little smaller. I mean, there's an atomizer missile. That seems kind of cool. So this is still my mill backstage uh, 75. Let's see if this thing works real quick. So let's spawn it in and maybe we'll obliterate Tobias with it. Please don't blow up the building. Actually, I don't know if the buildings can blow up yet. Oh, look at this. The atomizer. This looks nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and aim it. Actually, how does this thing aim? Hold on, let's just stick it right here. I don't know if this is going to work or not. We're about to see though. All right, does this work in the beta? Oh, it definitely works. Okay, so it does the big freeze. I feel like using something called the atomizer was not a good idea. <laughs> oh no. Uh, oh. Oh, wait, the building's destroy again. What the? Wait, where'd Tobias go? There's chunks of Tobias all over the city. Oh, dude, he made it so far out here. Look at that. Oh, there's still chunks raining down. Ha <laughs> ha! Poor Tobias. So, the atomizer worked really well. 
So is it Tobias? Is that what's lagging or was it the atomizer? I think it's actually the atomizer. So let's just slow down time real quick. All right, that's paused. Let's go a little bit slower. Here we go. Oh man, it just shot out straight into the ground and okay, so I didn't lag too much there. I kind of want to figure out how to maybe aim this. I feel like you can spin it, but there is certain things that don't really work in the beta. Maybe it's a certain part. Uh, hold on, let's try. Oh, okay, so having this slowed down is not a good idea. Okay, come on, ease it back. Okay, oh, it's still popping. So can I turn? Okay, so we can aim it up and down. So we got that. So let's go. Woo wee! Oh, wee! There it goes. Oh, it doesn't look like it's dropping. The atomizer is gone. Wait, is it turning? I know you guys can barely see it, but it's turning. Do we have a camera on that? Is there a cam- Oh, there isn't a camera on the rocket. I was hoping there was like a mounted camera there. Uh, we should probably get Tobias back. So, <laughs> this is what is left of Tobias. Holy man. Where's he at? Uh, is he above or below the map? I can't really tell. All right, Tobias, let's go home. Okay, that was a horrible experiment gone wrong, but I've got other solutions. So, we got something from the, uh, the workshop here. And this thing is called the Megalodon. Uh, this is by Titanium Raptor 3. Let's go ahead and give that a like. So it's a massive toothy nightmare from the darkest depths of the sea. I kind of want to use this in multiplayer. That'd be kind of fun. So yeah, it's WASD. Looks like there's an alt mode to thrash the head. It took two and a half days to complete. That's impressive. All right, so let's go and spawn it in. And we're going to eat Tobias real quick. Dude, look at that. Oh, that is awesome looking. All right. Oh, look at the motion on that. I like that a lot. Uh, the swimming. I don't know if you can eat people on the ground. You can certainly uh, chow down on Tobias and maybe a tower. We might have to use that multiplayer. Uh, maybe that'll be a thing. All right, so we're going to switch over real quick. Let's go ahead and grab. By the way, if you see a little menu uh, popping up, it's just me getting used to the controls here. Uh, there's a new menu with the... Uh, it shows teams. Also, look, there's a team for zombies. I don't know if that's a new thing that's coming up, but I'd like to see zombies. So anyways, uh, let's go ahead and switch back to Tobias, or actually the, the shark here, and let's go ahead and use it. Oh boy, this is going to be terrible. Watch out, Tobias, and the shark's opening up, and oh! Oh, that was cool. Hold on, the shark has to come back in. Oh, what did I do? I didn't mean to break it. Wow, I actually didn't think that was going to break brick rigs, but we did. Well, you know, they don't call it a beta for nothing. All right, let's try that again. Let's zoom in and let's try to slowly eat them. So open it up. And, oh, yes. Oh, uh, the shark might. Oh, no, it crashed again. <laughs> the shark is too powerful for the brick rigs. <laughs> I wonder if it's the shark or if it's Tobias. Okay, so we're back once again, so we've crashed it twice. I don't know if it's the shark doing it or if it's uh, the Tobias, but you do have to keep in mind this is what the beta is for. It's to break the game and try to fix the game. Uh, there's a good chance that this thing works just fine in, in the normal version of it, but we're not done. So we've eaten Tobias. Maybe we should eat a building. By the way, look at the craftsmanship on that. That is absolutely gorgeous looking okay let's go ahead and maybe see if this thing will maybe crash into a tower here so let's spawn in one of the xfs towers we know they run pretty good on this map and beta so let's go ahead and go boom and that's gonna appear and let's switch back over okay so i'm looking at the controls which by the way in the new beta there's a really nice little menu up here to help you kind of configure your controls and it says control g so Control G, it's showing on the bottom that it's in God mode, but I don't know if that's the player or the vehicle. We'll have to see here. I think there should be a little lock on the uh, left side, but here we go. Uh, oh, we just bounced into that. Nope, oh, nope. Oh, no. It's on a platform, so it can't really drive up it. Wait, is one of these? Okay, there we go. We can totally go through the front door here. It's nice and sloped for us. There we go. Come on. Just reach the tower. Oh, okay. So the vehicle definitely is... Oh. Oh, okay. So the vehicle definitely is not in God mode. So it says control G. I wonder what I'm doing wrong. You have to be maybe in alt mode or something. Let's go alt mode. Let's try control G there. No, it, it really just does it for the life. Uh, that could be something that isn't implemented yet, but you know what we can do? Let's go boom. There we go. We just crashed the shark through and oh, that was nasty looking. A bunch of guts and stuff just came out. You know, that didn't lag really at all. That wasn't bad. Look at that. 
That's working well. I mean, we have shark tower survival. Oh dear. Uh, what are we doing here? Oh, let's do it again and boom. Yes, that is glorious. And there is the shark. So let's move on to the next thing. I've got something I'm curious if it's gonna work here in this version. All right, so we tried out something the other day in multiplayer. I actually had a flying creation. It was the flying uh, Camaro here uh, by Alex and it works great. Like it's so smooth. I was curious, do other creations work like that? So say you have this thing, it's a soft body KPP 120, and this is by KP. It's a big soft body plane that's made out of almost 5,000 bricks. So question is, does it fly in the beta? Like I'm sure this thing works great in the normal version, but let's go ahead and try it here. I like the whole fact that it's soft body, so it means it crashes really, really nice. All right, and oh, there it is. Okay, it feels pretty good. It's kind of popping back. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, respawn it real quick. Okay, you know, let's just go for it. We are just gonna go for it here. Here we go. Uh, okay, pull back. On, I feel like it's starting to go. Oh, I think the parking brakes were on. Oh, and here we go. Oh, okay, the camera's a little jerky. Hold on, let's go inside. Okay, reset the camera. All right, so that's definitely one of the different camera. Oh, I need to work with the cameras here. That is, okay, it's a little jittery. Uh, I think it's the flaps. So the flaps are all kind of weird looking on the back. They're kind of freaking out with the game. Oh, there we go. All right, that's a lot better. Dude, stuff flies well. Okay, we're going around. Excuse the jittering of the camera here. You don't really get it on the inside, so that's nice. Oh, you get it a little bit. Uh, that could be just something with the beta, but man, this thing flies smooth. Hold on, let's pause this real quick. What's this thing look like? I like that it kind of looks like it's loaded with explosives down here. Wait, is there actual seats all over the place inside of this? Uh, I think there is. Oh, there is. Look at this. This is a full-blown cabin in here. That is so detailed. It's going to look great when we smash it into the ground. Okay, for some reason in slow-mo, it seems to not jitter. So I don't know if that's just a thing. Oh, it's jittering a little bit. So it's when you pull up and down. But I must say, as far as controls, it seems like the planes are getting easier to fly. So either the creators are getting a lot better at making flying creations, or it's just the uh, the physics in the game. But yeah, it's actually uh, really easy to fly. I remember at one point when flying kind of first came out, holy man, it was just, hey, let's crash into every mountain. But speaking of crashing, let's hit the train. Oh, uh, uh oh, oh, oh no. Okay, there it goes. <laughs> I don't know how much of the soft body we're actually getting here. All right, it's still lagging. And are we in slow-mo or is it just slow? It might just be slow. Oh, okay, on. I'm still getting used to the new slow-mo controls. There we go, that's full speed there. Uh, what? what's happening? All right, stuff's still happening right now. The plane's slowly breaking itself apart, but it is working. Uh, that's definitely a thing. I, I don't really know what's happening. Wait, is this Bob? Am I flying? Uh, is Bob even, where's he at? Oh, there he is. Okay, so, hold on, let's put this back into full speed. That's full speed. So full speed seems to be lagging, but the the plane is trying to drag itself forward and it's not really happening at the moment. It's actually just parking itself on the train track. Speaking of, is the train coming? Uh, it is. Hey, I think it ran out of fuel. Uh-oh, it's still freaking out though. Yeah, you can see the way the, the plane's bending and stuff. The soft body physics on these things are actually really cool. I think the uh, the update might be freaking it out a little bit, but this is fine. Uh, it looks like it's slowly melting. Man, that's cool looking. It makes Bob happy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, here it comes. Oh, it's so laggy. Oh. Hey, at least we didn't, like, break the game. Hey, that's, that's a positive. So I think we've done quite a bit of physics testing here. We know that what's kind of possible and what isn't possible at the moment. <laughs> uh, there's going to need to be a little bit of work, but that's what's happening right now, folks. That's what's getting fixed and upgraded and everything else. So I'm looking forward to it. So Bob's not too sure what he learned here this episode. He learns that he doesn't like clothes still. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Also, uh, vehicle inventories are a thing. If you watch the last multiplayer episode, you can actually stick stuff in seats, uh, which is really, really awesome. But yeah. Uh, I'm going to go run in front of the train or something and with the new physics. Uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. We'll see you guys next time.